Uh, we definitely just feel good uh, where we're at right now. And, um, got a good win, a good needed win. And uh, went back and watched the tape, and we've seen a lot of good things that uh, we can improve on going into Thursday. Coach kind of said you guys did a little bit of soul searching, I guess, a little bit before that last one. Was Uh, we're just going to go out every game and just uh, go one game at a time and just uh, just try to win all of them. Just uh, take them one at a time and and know that uh, for the seniors, our time is really short and just try to take advantage of it and uh, um, uh, make this a season to remember. Did you guys just kind of maybe lose sight of that a little bit, especially during that losing streak, that you're trying to win five games at once or something like that instead of just taking one game at a time? Did you guys lose sight of that? I think I think we I think it may have been part of the problem just losing sight of the task at hand, but uh, but we're, we're getting back we're getting back to um, what we need to and uh, to get wins. Did you ever think you guys you guys before, but as seniors, what have you guys kind of what do you feel like you've done to keep everybody's focus and honestly keep everybody on track towards the right direction? Uh, maybe just showing a little bit more leadership. Uh, you know, from in the past we haven't been doing you know that much vocal. Speaking and talking to you know the young guys, but I think uh, we are really improving on that. So, as we get down here again towards that last stretch, you guys find yourselves in a little bit of a hole in some of the standings. Not huge, but talk about uh, the importance now of kind of finishing strong in the league and uh, kind of determining you know, these last weeks and games. Uh, it's, it's very important to finish strong. I mean, uh, this is when you want to be playing your best basketball now, and. Um, you never know what happened to somebody. Any team could be any team on any given night. So if we just take care of what, what we could take care of, we still can um, possibly have a chance to win the lead at the at the end of uh, February, March. Looking back at the beginning of the season when you guys were kind of hyped and entering the whole thing, do you feel like you all maybe bought into it a little bit too much, or do you feel like that was more that's the media and we separated, you know, in practice and stuff? Do you, do you feel like you maybe overestimated yourself at all? Uh, I think it was a little bit of both. We kind of bought into the hype, but uh, I mean, but it's a long season, and uh, like we said, we want to be playing our best basketball now and then, uh, going into March on a uh, win streak. Looking back, do you think that that was the best way to do things? I mean, now that you kind of got that dose of reality, and you have the home stretch, you can come down and, and sort of you know realize what you need to do. Uh, yeah, most definitely. It just, just kind of settled us in and uh, really, really uh, taught us a lesson and uh, really showed us where we needed to be. And uh, I'm glad that it happened then and now. I know I was asking you when you back, but with Serge coming back in time now, is that something that you guys have just really looked forward to? Like, the past couple, I mean, has that been an excuse or something for you guys? Or, like, maybe looking too much at him coming back? I mean, now that he is coming back, how do you think he's going to help you? Uh, I wouldn't say it's an excuse for us losing, but uh, we're definitely excited and happy to have Serge come back. I mean, he does a lot for our team. When he went out, he was second leading scorer, uh, one of the top rebounders in the conference, and um, he just brings that energy to the game that that I think we've been missing and uh, that we need. So we're definitely excited to have him have him back. What does he do as far as you know, like an attitude standpoint? Because he's always goofing around, joking up feet as far as keeping you guys kind of loose. Oh yeah, he definitely he definitely keeps the team. Uh, he definitely keeps us uh, keeps us hyped, and uh, he always. I always can look at Serge and he'll do something to make you smile or laugh. So uh, it's always good to have a guy like that in the locker room. Jim, did you guys ever really realize how important he was to you until he was actually gone? You know, extended period of time. Did you ever really realize how valuable he was until he was sitting out? Uh, I believe we, you know, we knew, <clears> but uh, that just made us, you know, recognize even more that, you know, he does do a lot of positive things for us. You know, as far as rebounding, scoring, and you know, playing defense. Uh, Serge, you know. He may, you know, fall short sometimes, lack of focus, like all of us. But, you know, Serge is one, you know, he'll get stops when you need him and everything else. So, thank you. AJ talked about him keeping you guys loose, uh, you know, joking around, you know, Serge's personality. Uh, you know, how much, when he's not in uniform, how much can you guys miss that during the course of a game, you know, when the only way he can really offer that levity is, you know, kind of from the bench as opposed to in uniform, you know, a little jazz and things like that. Uh, well, I think it's big because, you know, like you said, uh, in uniform, you know, he's out there with us and, you know, all his attention is, you know, everybody's watching the game. So, uh, uh, I guess uh, when he's over there on the bench, not in uniform, I guess, you know, it's like he's in the shadows. So, uh, I think it's, it's big. Uh, with Serge, you know, 
without citing any specific examples, uh, how often this surge kind of, you know, maybe say some stuff just to get everybody cracking up a little bit, even during a game when you guys are out on the floor? Oh, every chance it gets. Uh, sometimes the coach, you know, had to look at him and, you know, tell him to calm down just because, you know, he, I don't believe he knows, you know, when he's doing it. It's just surge, but uh, all the time. Talk about the girl a little bit. What have you seen from him, and what do you expect to see from him here with the Well, we haven't we haven't watched tape on him yet. We'll probably get in today and and uh, break him down. But uh, I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna come in with their best effort and uh, play hard and uh, want to beat us. So we just got to match their intensity. It's something we've talked about a lot, but how important AJ is it for you guys to? It's, it's very important that we that we get the road situation handled. I mean, uh, we, we're pretty good at home, but uh, we got we got some uh, big time road games coming up, and and we need to be able to handle those at the uh, at the right time of the season. And and I mean, uh, Sun Belt Conference is on the road, so we need to get used to to playing on the road and bringing our own energy. I think so. I mean, uh, just a, just as the season's gone, I think I think we really need to to win out these last games, not just from a confidence standpoint, but just just um, going out and and finishing our senior season off right. I think I think it would be right if we if we went out and and won every last one of these games and and win the Sun Belt tournament.